Hey guys, and welcome back to Mass Effect <laughs> Legendary Edition. Right now, we're going into a creepy basement to uh, face off against an alien plant. Let's see how that goes. God, it stinks in here. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Okay, by the numbers. We just need to find. What is that? That is large. We are going to need bigger guns. Praise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I need what Saren came for. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I'm after Saren. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth! Please, for the love of God, push this bitch back. That one. Seem too happy about that. Down yet. Enemy sighted. All right, watch that one. Okay, 
God, didn't we take that one out? I feel like those things are like the angels from uh, Doctor Who. As soon as you turn around, they're gonna come after you. Oh, what's that sound? That sound is not awesome.
There you go, Caden. That might help. Hit it. Trying to keep them on the ground so you guys can fish them all. Targets down. Now let's keep moving. Be ready, okay? happy about that one.
right, guys, let's go. Perimeter secured. On me. Warm up. Could be that creepy shit. I need you there. Need you there just in case. I don't have a shot.
I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Who are you? How did you end up inside that... thing? My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. What do you mean? Did he trick her? Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Sounds like you, Asari, got in over your heads for once. Come on, there's gotta be more to this. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's horrible. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What does it do? What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So, the Cypher is knowledge? So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that information. I need the Cypher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I'm okay. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. 
you look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Tell me about Sovereign. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. It controls minds? You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. What should I do with you? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. Sounds good to me. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. Nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. Scratch that. It's not a nice place to visit. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Alright, let's head out. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Crap, I never got it. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Alright, let's see if I can talk to this guy. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What are your plans now? What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Oh, what do you got for sale now? Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Uh, let's get out of here. Stand by, shoreward. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I, f I feel... I feel strange. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need some time to let this cipher do its thing. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. 
<sighs> it's worth a shot. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. So there was nothing useful? You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Now what? What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. All right, are you okay? Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. All right, go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure, why not? It's always enjoyable to talk patch to Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogen, you should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. That yeah, wouldn't work. Exogen, tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I help everyone. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Alright guys, it's gonna do it for this one. I'll see you next time. Peace!